What's up, what's up, and of course, guys, what is up? Hope you're all doing well, doing a okay as per usual. And yeah, today is a pretty planned vlog. I think everything's prepped, I've got everything around me ready to go, and we've got hell of a lot of stuff to talk about today. Some are gonna be a bit different to usual. So we've got like, I've been vaping stuff, we've got the news coming up with the new TPD starting in about, let's have a look over here, in five days. Five days will be the last day till the TPD kicks in and then we'll go over a few things and see what we're going to be looking at in terms of what we're going to be expecting when the TPD comes. Um, and other than that, I've got some wire reviews sent over from Crazy Wire to have a look at. They're all in the builds that I'm going to be tasting this new juice that has it came about a couple of weeks ago, but it's took me this long to be able to come have the time to be able to actually do it, really. So, yeah, I'm excited. I've only tried one of these flavors, and it's good. Like It's all I can really say at the moment, because I've been waiting so long to try this juice, as well as another range that I've been sent, which will be for the next vlog. But let's, let's dive down, we'll enjoy, and see how this goes. So welcome, guys. Hey, uh, we'll see how it goes and see, uh, yeah, so, let's have fun, shall we? So, TPD is coming into effect in five days, well, that'll be the last day that all the restrictions are going to be not available, then obviously as of the 20th of May, the TPD is going to start kicking in, and so what we're going to be expecting, clicking over to the gov.uk in terms of e-cigarette e -cigarettes. Um, regulations for consumer products so um, the the introduced new rules which ensure minimum standards for the safety and quality of all e-cigarettes and refill containers otherwise known as e-liquids that information will be provided to consumers so that they can make informed choices and an environment that protects children from starting to use these products Considering vaping's been around for a hell of a long time, and, like, let me just grab a bottle, for instance. Hill Tides. Childproof caps. Everything's always been safe. I know the people don't want to start children in starting to vape and all da 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 But there's no real... There's no way, and obviously with the, the daft packaging and stuff that some companies provide, but... Mm, no, just just no. The new requirements that will be in force are a restrict e-cigarette tanks to a capacity. Capaci uh, uh, welcome to talking, Aaron. Restrict e-cigarette tanks to a capacity of no more than two mil. Restrict the maximum volume of e-liquid for sale in one refill container to ten mil. Restrict e-liquids to a nicotine strength of no more than twenty milligram. Require nicotine containing products or their packaging to be child resistant and tamper evident. Ban certain ingredients including colorings, caffeine and taurine. So if you're like the big Heisenberg fans and stuff like that, it isn't going to be blue anymore. So just to uh, bear that in mind. Uh, include new labeling requirements and warnings and require all e-cigarettes e and e-liquids to be notified to MHRA before they can be said. So, said, sold. And then it goes on to say, consumers and healthcare professionals can report side effects and safety concerns with e-cigarettes or refill containers to the MHRA through the yellow card reporting system. The UK Toba Tobacco and Related Products Regulations 2016 implemented the TPD in the UK and came into force on May the 20th, 2016. So obviously it's took a full year for this to actually boom. It's actually coming into effect now. So meh, meh. Oh well. But personally, I uh, there are loopholes around it. As uh, when I go to do the juice like review at the end, um, I'll show you what I mean by there are loopholes around these sort of regulations and laws that are going to be coming into effect. But it's not that it's not that bad. Um, so obviously, I I currently work at Vaporized um, in Sheffield, 
and we're pretty much 90% TPD ready. We're just clearing out the stuff that isn't TPD compliant. And the stuff that's coming is amazing. Like, yeah, it's the same price as a full 30 mil bottle, but some are coming in like boxes of like a three pack, like a three pack box of 10 mil bottles. I don't even know if I've got any around here. Uh, yeah. So like loaded, loaded donuts range, we've got it in and it comes in three singular 10 mil bottles in a little box for the same price as a normal standard 30 mil full price bottle. We also have the Cosmic Fog range, the Liquid State range, all coming in 10 mil. But instead of choosing, oh, I'll just have three of the same flavour, you can mix and match with three different flavours so you're not stuck with 30 mil of one juice after you get bored after vaping like a couple of pulls on it. But other than that, it's not that bad. Like tank sizes, yeah, it's 2 mil, but a lot of companies are offering extension tanks, making the tank bigger, but it can be sold as the 2 mil compliant. There's so many ways around the whole compliancy thing and honestly in my opinion it's not really that much of a big deal there's just going to be a little bit of changes but no one really vapes over 20 milligram anymore really really nah cool okay so yeah that's going to be the tpd stuff um so yeah cool Next thing, just one big thanks to Herbal Tides over Sean and Dan and everyone over at Herbal Tides for the amazing new Freak, Freak Squad snapback. Like, it fits lovely. I love the colour. And their limited edition range is going to be ending very soon. So, heaven knows, all stuff like that, you're going to need to get it quick before it runs out. Um, not that bad price. So, go for it. Just, just go for it. So yeah, I think that's it for like the news and updates sort of thing. So what I've been vaping recently, a lot of stuff. Um, Got to talk about probably everything, nearly everything that I'm going to be vaping on in this moment. But RX2 slash 3, Tornado Hero, it's great. Like I'm not really a big fan of RTAs much unless it's a good one. But most of the stuff that what I've been vaping is an RTA or some form of dripper. Um, but yeah, the flavour is great. Like in terms of it's easy to build, easy to wick. You don't really have to stuff that much cotton in for wicking. Um, I think in here, I don't even know what is in here. I think it's the stock fuse claptons that you get with the hero. 0.19 at a nice 78 watt. Got the that loaded with Miami Drip Club, the Ocean Lime, 120 mil bottle, and it's great. If you wanted something limey, and it, it's not menthol or even like a cool harder sort of kick, it's just a really cool breezy sort of lime flavor. Miami Drip Club, all day, every day. Um, so yeah, RX two thirds. Again, another RT been vaping. Again on the other RX two thirds, the Cleo one hundred and twenty. I was always a bit skeptical in terms of this tank. Anyway, due to, I don't know. Again with sub home tanks, and then uh, Mike, the new manager for the Nottingham store for Vaporize, came in and gave me the RTA section. So I thought I might as well go buy the tank and uh, see how it goes. Whack the airflow down really, really, I don't even know what to see on here, but really, really short, like barely anything. Great, great flavour. It's not too airy, not too turbulent. Same with both of these. If you have the airflow, full whack, turbulent flavour just diminishes straight down. Um, got that loaded up with Licking Lizard from the Herbal Tires limited edition range. Definitely go check that out if you like a berry lemonade sort of thing. It, it does have that really nice hint of fizz to it as well. Um, I don't even know what's in here. I think it's again stock fuse Clapton's 0.2. Nice modest 80 watt, 4 volts. Can't go wrong. So refreshing, definitely for summertime. I need to be able to reserve as much as I can. I think I've got another bottle and a half left, or even less than that, to be fair. Um, Next thing, my all-time favourite mod, well, one of, because I have both my all-time favourite mods with me in the queue this time. Noisy Cricket 2, 
by far the best, most, I don't even know how to word how good this mod is. The amount of ops you can, option there, hello, the amount of options you can have with this mod, parallel series or regulated series, and also found out as well, you could actually just use one singular battery in parallel mode and have it like a, pretty much like a single mech. And again, the Troll RTA, pff, ridiculously good. Flavor's amazing. Unlike a lot of people, I'm not really too keen on the Kennedy style airflow. It is a bit too turbulent for me, but doesn't affect the flavor in this whatsoever. When I first bought this tank, mm, I did put a bit of a bit, bit of a too big of a build in in it, and the coils have slightly started to melt the insulation thing inside. So the deck section is like a rectangle sort of thing. Like velocity style with the two and the two, but it's all one plate instead of having two separate posts. And it's easy to, easy to build on, but it's just making sure you've got that distance from the insulation uh, insulation part. And the wicking you need to make sure is dipping out the bottom, but make sure you leave those holes, knit like poke little holes next to the effort loop, the wicking holes. Um, otherwise, it's going to be constantly dry. It took about five or six builds to get this perfect using the crazy wire and i well nichrome 80 alien style wire we'll get to all these wires soon uh later on but other than the two rtas everything i'm using today in terms of um wire will all be crazy wire for this video um every wire i've been sent by them is all built in every device i'm going to be using so far to talk about um but yeah, this is the alien style wire. Personally, for me, it's not it's not alien wire. It's like flat wire, but it's Clapton, but it's like ribbon wire, Clapton, but great flavour. Like I can't complain um about any of the wire that crazy wire do, as you'll see when I get, get to that sort of section. Um But yeah, loaded it up with Sloth from Pure Evil, Max VG. A, like a, a multitude of different berries and it's I first tried it last year vaped a lot of it a nice 120 mil bottle and then managed to get 60 mil for four pounds from the vaporize website I'll obviously vaporize and vaporize sound quite similar but it's a different website 60 mil four pounds we got four bottles it's one of like the best summer vapes to go to Every time I go back to it, it's like, oh, I've missed this juice so much. So, yeah, I think the, I think it's a point, I have no idea what even this, these coils read at. It's about a point one eight, I want to say, like seven wrap of that alien <clears throat> nichrome. Let's get it go. Such a smooth vape. Everything is on point the flavor just hits definitely in this tank so cheap gray haze troll rta i think they're on sale for 24.99 like budget ands no you're not going to need much money everything now obviously with the new regulations coming into effect it's going to be rather expensive for a lot of different things as to why there are a lot of things on offer at the minute so yeah and the last thing Vigod Pro 150 box and Druga RDA from Orgvape. Absolutely loving the crap out of this dripper. It's, it's great that it's all goon compatible. A lot of drippers that I've just been getting over the past couple of weeks, all goon compatible. So when payday comes, ordering a lot of DHD drip tips, maybe go for Vince's tips and stuff like that, just to get some nice, like, matchy matchy sort of drip tips going on. Uh, what have I got in here? Six wrap, 24 gauge core fuse Clapton's from again crazy wire they come in these really cool little tins the fancy wire and then obviously your standard wire comes in these big big reels and you can get a lot like this is doesn't even say what spool length i think is it 25 meters something like that you can get a whole mess of wire the great thing about these fuse claptons is they kick very fucking hard like i had it on 60 watts earlier it felt like it was 100 like this is on 80, 84 watts or something. Absolutely, actually that needs dripping. 
Speaking of it, it's dripping. If you remember back, I did the Coastal Clouds review and sent me another box full of juice, which will be in the next vlog. Don't worry, guys, it's going to be the next vlog with their new flavours, the rest of the cocktail collection. But at the minute, gone straight back to the strawberry daiquiri. Absolutely loved this vape, and especially on these fused Claptons. <laughs> Great. Really brings out like the strawberry element to it. Tastes fresh. And like I said in the other view, it's floaty. The, the taste is just floaty. Uh, let's see if it'll go now. Look at that. It's just 80 watts and it's just kicking out. And yeah, great. Absolute amazing flavour. This, the, the fancy wire is great. Like, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to fault it again apart from the alien, which I think is, it's not exactly like alien wire, but it, it's, it's good wire. Like, I genuinely I cannot cheap. fault you, you, the wire at all. Like, it is good for the, the price point as well. And this Vigar Pro Box, I can't say enough good things about it. There are a couple of gripes that obviously I'll get into in a second, but 150 watts. Like, it's great. It has so many different functions, just constantly three clicks. So you've got your wattage mode up to 150. You have mech mode, direct power of both batteries. And it's even smart enough to read what, like, obviously the resistance of your cold depends on what the mech mode will kick out. So, for example, three clicks, one, two, three, mechanical mode, 0.16. As soon as you press that fire button, I don't even know if you can even be able to see this. It already judges what the wattage should be. Straight away, 90 watts tells you your voltage and the resistance as well as it's firing. And the good thing as well, it doesn't just stay on that wattage. It slowly, ever so slowly ramps down. So it's not going to blow your face off at the same constant wattage. Just straight away, that 0.16 reads straight at 100 watts. Straight away. And even it, it will even go down to 0 0.07 in terms of resistance. So say you're doing a nichrome, a low nichrome build or a low stainless steel build and it's not reading and you want to obviously just pulse your coils just to get it to that like 0 0.1 mark sort of thing. Just slight, light little pulses and you're there. Like, it'll adjust like obviously the, the resistance will change. It also has the pro mode, which is like if you ever, if you ever use the Minikin 2, with the curve feature, is basically the curve feature where you can just adjust in terms of what it's going to start at and then what it's going to finish at. So this has already been set 120 watts, then it goes down and down. Um, also does temperature for nickel, one, two, three, titanium. But it doesn't do stainless steel, which is really, really strange considering most mods nowadays are quite everything to stainless steel. So, can't, can't get enough of it, definitely cannot get enough of this box mod. Couple of gripes, the, the wear and, you get the general wear and tear, but it's nothing too major, like the bottom, the, the colours started to fade slightly on the bottom. Um, magnets, really strong on the door, I usually just pop it to the side, and then you can get the door off a lot easier but the magnets are ridiculously strong so I don't have to worry about that falling off another thing is the mod seems to squeak like it makes like a I don't even not even going to imitate the noise but no it's not even every so often depending on what what is in it it tends to make like a, a very high pitched tone squeak noise don't know what it is. I think it could be maybe the battery is getting strained or the chip being strained. Personally, I don't know what why it's doing that. And sometimes as well, it ticks. It sounds like a bomb going off. Like, like I could put it here and I'm like, what is that noise? Like, is it my watch or what? And then it's the, it's the mod. Like sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it ticks. And I'm just like, okay, I'll set that down, turn that off, and then... Uh, Come back, come back to it later. So Vigor Pro Box, again, Grey Haze, $99.99. It is pricey for a 150 watt box mod. Personally, I think you're just paying for the name, but the amount of features, like the carbon fiber sort of doors, it just feels nice. Small little mod in the hand, especially if I've got like a Wii out here, no RDA, which 
I love so much. If you have that, it looks like a nice small little compact mod, even with little drippers like the Druga or even like the Cosmonaut and whatnot. Great, like absolutely amazingly great mod. Cannot fault it at all. So yeah, that, apart from one thing which is going to be talked about like next, is what I've been vaping so far. Um, liquid for days, like I'm always chopping and changing liquid. Uh, I've run out of sponsor care package liquid at the minute, so just going through the giant vast shelf above me of the different juices and stuff I've got. I think I've got a little bit of like hill tide stuff left, but a lot of it's already been uh, been vaped pretty quick. So the last thing I've been vaping, I've only had this about two two weeks ish, and I've only just changed the pod. Yes, it is a pod system, and I genuinely can't get enough of this. The Limitless Pulse. It's the first like major like pod system I've ever had, and I fell in love with this mod so much. Like, it does everything. Like, in terms of mouth to lung, yeah, that's why it doesn't do everything. You can't like adjust the wattage or anything like that. But it's just, comes in a little box, as you can see. And boop, it has lights, like really cool, like Tron style lights. Let me just get this out. Obviously, I'll put it in the box just to show you guys the box, really. So if we just go like this, this is pretty much your box. Comes like that, comes with a really, really nice charging cable, which is in the living room somewhere. But it's amazing, tiny, I mean, tiny little device. And to say it's tiny, the battery life is amazing. I got easily more than a day just vaping this. It's five clicks on, five clicks off. So one, two, three, four, five. And it's off. One, two, three, four, five. And back on. What's also cool, you know, the, the, the only thing the button is used for is to turn into stealth mode. So one, two, three. Goes off, but it's still usable. And one, two, three. Turn it back on. And just to change the colours to obviously what what suits your needs personally, purples for me. Straight direct switch, like you just take a pull and it's ready to go. Vaping the 12 milligram 50-50 Flavor Freaks Holy Water from Herbal Tides. 12 milligram High Nick Flavor for Days. Holy Water won Best Menthol at Vape Expo Birmingham last year. Amazing. The my best all-time menthol flavour. It's, it's Apparently it is like it's an apple and pear menthol, but it's great. Like all you gotta do is take a pull. Nothing too much. The reason why I love this so much and I had to get it is just ease of terms of like when you're going out, like went for um went for a birthday meal the other day. It was just nice not to have a bulky fat box mod with me. Just have this chilling in your pocket, pull it out and just take a hit. It's great. Like the flavor is amazing considering it's quite small. This pod, this is the last pod. I think it's still going. Like personally, I think it's still usable. But after all, I've only had it, the issue with this pod so far. Like it's sometimes the pod can loosen and it just starts to raise and you've got to push your mouth against it to vape on it. But other than that, I can't fault this. I'm going to see how long this pod lasts. This one seemed to snap in perfectly fine. There's nothing like wiggling, adjusting, USB charge. It's great. Like, if I just need something just like high nicotine just to keep me chilling with, I absolutely love this. comes with the spare pod and the pod systems are, I think, about £15, including delivery for three pods. And if... If that other pod will last me, it could be about three, three, three and a half weeks per pod. That is cheap. Now, clicking over onto where I originally got this from, spacingvapors.co.uk, so a UK based one. Let's have a look. $24.99 for a full kit, including a spare pod. All you need is your juice. £30 for an amazing starter kit setup. Especially if you're in the pod system stuff as well, where you haven't got to press buttons, nothing like that. Just just something to vape on while you're chilling, doing whatever. Hold it like a 
hold it like a cigarette kind of thing. You can also direct lung it as well, but depends what sort of nicotine strength you're using in it. Not really much that much cloud production, but flavour, can't fault it, like, at all. Absolutely amazing. So, so yeah, I think that's it for like, the what I've been vaping. My first impressions, really, of the Limitless Pulse. It's, it's amazing for a good, a good starter kit where you haven't got to faff about. Actually, I will say a couple of gripes with this. The top part is a nightmare to get off. And what's even worse about this is when I can get it off is the pod system itself. I can't actually get this off. Fucking nibbling at it. Um, there we go. Okay, so the pod system itself comes like this. These little red stoppers. You need to get your nail right underneath it and flick see I can't even do it right now you flick it open or just pull it off sometimes if you push that too hard in it is a nightmare to get the plug back out like as you can see here I've already snapped one of the little things to for it to come off with it is a pain in the butt what personally what I think we should have is not this rubber sort of seal but just like a little maybe just like a solid plastic version which is very durable or even just Delrin made for things and then you can just keep it like you can once you finish with the pod, you can keep that sort of thing. Just something the the grippy section, limitless. If you end up watching this, the, the grippy sort of section that you need to like try and get it out, make that a bit more solid instead of rubber that's snappable. But it doesn't really matter about the stoppers; they can be like rubberized. But it'd just be a lot easier, and there's going to be like no more like issues with, with me personally. But I love it. Like other than that, that's it. Like I haven't got any more gripes with it just how the pod system works kind of thing but that's it um so yeah that was all like what i've been vaping my first impressions on the limitless so next we'll jump over to the good old crazy wire so in terms of crazy wire they sent me a package of wire to review for you guys um and i'm absolutely going mad for the stuff i have tried a couple of the spools that i have already got uh, I have still got a couple of spools of the stuff they they, they sent me, um, but they're great. Like I'll just jump over to the website now. Cool. They they do ridiculous amounts of different alloys. You've got your Canthal A one. You've got stainless steel, stainless steel. The other the other one. Let's have a look. Uh, you got nickel. Uh, Canthal, Nichrome, stainless steel. They've even got a new flat wire uh, segment as well. Um, but I'm all about Nichrome. That's that's my sort of, I think personally, for me, produces the best flavour. Nice, low resistance, but not something too ridiculously low. So I got sent some 20 gauge, pretty thick. Uh, I think, in all honesty, I don't think it was 25 metres. Sorry about that. It's probably, I think they're about 10, yeah, these say 10, 10 metre spools. This one says 25 meter spool, um, but this is the only one that I don't actually know what this is. Um, I've got it built and wicked in the Goon 22, but that's for the juice tasting. So, like I said, everything I'm using so far is all like what I'm going to be doing for the review at the end is all crazy wire stuff. So we got some 20. That's the one I don't know. So we've got 20, 21 gauge nichrome and 20 gauge nichrome. Vaped these before, ridiculously good. Do an eight, uh, an eight wrap around a three mil bit on the 20 gauge, 0.18, like great for mechs, like in terms of like flavor, heat, product, heat and whatnot, if you like a nice warm vape. Again, another eight wrap for me on the 21 gauge, if you like a 0.2 or even, or is it the other way around? Something like that. One obviously the thinner one will be a higher resistance, but great, like it's really good quality wire. There's nothing, it's not like all like dull in color or anything. Everything heats up really well. Nothing's really like oddly heating when you're obviously building your coils and whatnot. And this one is the one that I really don't know what it is. It just says 
I can't even read what it says. It just says zero seven or it says that's what the wire thickness is. Personally, guys, don't put this number of what point, what size it is. Put just put the gauge. Most people know about gauges and the gauges of wire and whatnot. It's so much more easier to understand. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. I love love your wire. Just write what it is. Like here on the fuse, it says wire thickness twenty six gauge. Put that like just the gauge like of what it is. But this seems thinner than a 20 out of 21. Crazy why? Please let me know which one you sent me. But I've done a 10 wrap, dual 10 wrap in that Goon 22. And it comes out at exactly 0.2. So I don't know what it is, but it's I'm really looking forward to vaping this. So I'm looking forward to it. And then we've got two sets of fused Claptons. We've got two to dual 26 gauge core and a 24 gauge core. The 24 gauge core is in the Druga. So, six wrap, put around a three mil bit, 0.16, kicks out. The dr It's an absolute dream to vape. Um, the 26 gauge core is in the Cosmonaut, which will be obviously used for the, the vape tasting, juice tasting soon. Um, and then you've got the Alien Wire. Um, what I'll say about the fuse, though, is obviously some fuse Claptons are flat, and then others, like these guys, they look like it's it, it's twisted and then fused. Um, personally, I don't really. I love the flavor and how it performs. I just don't like how it looks. Like I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but I just don't like how it looks when it's wrapped. I'm really OCD about everything looking neat, flat, like really nicely well done together. Yeah, definitely flat. But other than that, I can't I can't fault it at all. Like. The the wire is it's not it's not expensive. You you're paying next to nothing for wire in terms of like the, their stuff. The alien wire, you could it, I think it's ribbon wire that's just been like clapped and over. But flavor's great. Like you might not be getting like the best like in terms of oh this isn't real alien wire. Oh well, like as long as it performs, it tastes just like aliens. Like. My uh, my squad member Jordan makes aliens and he makes like everything and his 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 coils are perfect. Also, I'll leave a link down in the description for Jordan as well. Um, but everything I talk about will be down in the description for you to check out. So go buy Crazy Wire. Just just go buy some. Like it's ridiculously cheap. Like the the like, the aliens and stuff and the fuse they vary from like six to nine pounds for a spool. Uh, that's mine's lasted me. My other spool lasted me about two weeks. Well, that's only because I was rebuilding like every other day. Um, but when I'm not like constantly rebuilding, I'm actually sticking to one build. That that spool can easily last me over a month, if not longer. Like you've got your wire sorted, and if you like all your other stuff, like stainless, your Ni60, even stuff like that, they've got it. They've they've absolutely got everything you're gonna need in terms of. Like that sort of uh, aspect, um, but yeah, that was the crazy wire sort of segment. Definitely go and check them out. I talk about them in every review I've ever done, so they they're great. Like, cheers! Thank you guys for like sending me these over. I'll be enjoying these a hell of a lot, and I really want to try your like some more of your Ni60 stuff as well as maybe some of your more fancy like juggernaut stuff. I would I wouldn't mind trying those out as well. Um but yeah, moving on to the last segment of the vlog. So we're gonna be looking at juice. Juice, 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 and I'm really, really excited. So let me just burn this off. Because I have got three juices, I have two things that have been freshly built and wicked. The Druga is the third thing, so I'm about to just obviously blow that off. But one of the flavours is strawberry. So that's going to go with the Druga. So this was said to me by the my one and only brother from another mother, Mr. George Dimmock, over at Juice Sauce. So this is the Jam Vape Company. 
You might think, oh my god, these are th this is a new company and they're in big bottles with the legislation and whatnot coming in. This is what I was talking about, about the loopholes. So in terms of the Jam Vape Co, if you ever watch my review of the juice sauce, uh, the, what was that juice called? Is it on here somewhere? Uh, it was, da -da 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 -da, let me just have a look. Well, I can't find it. I think it was the skate or something like that, like the S SKB, something like that. Um, it was like a strawberry kiwi bubblegum sort of thing, and I absolutely loved that juice. Um, but the George sent me over these to give a review for you guys, and I have only tried one of them, and he sent me the other range, which is going to be in the next vlog, which I've only tried one of the juices, and... It's killing me because they're all dessert flavours and that's like kind of my thing. Um, but these are all based on jam on toast. And they come in 90 ml bottles. Why 90? Because you can get a nicotine shot. So the nick shot loophole is any liquids can that, that contain nicotine have to be a 10 ml bottle. But if it's a 0 milligram, it can be in any size bottle available. So, this is, I'm going to open this first because this is the only one I've tried. Um, to, when it, when, when you get your, when you do like get a package with like the Nick shot, it'll come something like this. What you'll have to do is you take the cap off, comes in a little bottle. So, this is a 20 milligram Nick shot. Once you uh, add it to say 90 ml of juice, it will condense down to 3 milligram of nicotine. So, what I do is, I take the, the unicorn top off and I just pour it straight in, pour the entire bottle in. If you are sent a nicotine shot that's designed just for one bottle, put the entire bottle in. Don't like, you know, oh, is that too much because it's such a high milligram of nicotine? No. Once it's in the juice and it's, dilu like, it's diluted with more VG and PG, it will dilute the nicotine strength to about three milligram. Then just give it a very, very hard shake and then I just left it for about two days before I even touch these, just so it can help the steeping process along a lot more. So, they're all jam on toast based. We've got blackcurrant jam on toast, orange marmalade on toast, and strawberry jam on toast. I love toast vapes. Like, some people do, some people don't. It is like Marmite, like if you pardon the pun kind of thing. It You either love them or you hate them. So, let's start with the one I, I'm dying to try, was the strawberry jam on toast. See, I still haven't even opened this yet. The only time I opened it was just to add the nicotine shot. So, take the top off, give it a whiff. That is really, really steeped. Um, the the smell I'm get I'm getting, and it's the same with the orange marmalade. I don't know about the black currant, but you get that fresh, and I mean fresh strawberry like jam, and then. In the middle, you can literally smell the layers on the juice straight away, the strawberry. The second is real hot. You know when you were like ill from school or something like that and you'd have just toast with butter? It is that thick, like hot melted butter sort of smell, which it's not an off-putting sort of smell. It is so good. And then just on that tail end, you've got that toast right in there. So... This one we're vaping, strawberry jam on toast. Druger RDA from Org Vape and the V God Pro Box. Then Fuse Clapton's from Crazy Wire. Looks a little bit thin. Don't know what PGVG content it is, but it, it looks quite a uh, thin sort of liquid. It doesn't uh, really say what the um, VG PG content is. But, let's give it a go, shall we? Oh. The hell? Something went off there. Might need to adjust these Claptons a little bit. Yeah, we're good. Cool, we're back, and let's give it a go. Oh, 
That is ridiculous. Straight away, full on strawberry with butter on toast. Like, I can't, I genuinely cannot fault this li this liquid. I'm, I'm, all, I'm always looking for a good strawberry vape. Like, I've got loads of bottles up here that I've bought and it's just, nah. I've even got a bottle right looking right at me. Strawberry cheesecake and it's a three milligram and it feels like an 18. But this, so smooth and It's so smooth, so refreshing. Straight away on my exhale is the like the strawberry, like jam sort of element. And then you get that real nice hot butter with just on that tip. It's not too overpowering, but you get that really, really nice toasty sort of taste. So that was the strawberry jam from the Jam Vape Co. Let's try, this is the one I've had a bit of and I do I do like a good orange vape now and again, but long story short, it is ridiculous how good this is. So whack this on Goon the Goon 22 using that 10 wrap crazy wire. I don't know what it is. Like guys, please let me know what wire this was. Um point two, actually get this liquid it up because this is bone dry um so let's give that a just let you know guys if i can't get the editing thing working on my computer there's been times where the uh, camera has cut out um so there could be maybe, if it's not one long video, it's going to be in three parts. Um, so apologies if you have to keep clicking onto the next videos and stuff like that. But hopefully soon I can actually get some sort of video, video proper good video editing software sorted for this. So let's work it, mm, let's say 70 watts. Straight away, just kicking the tits. Let's give it a go. This is the orange marmalade on toast with butter. So let's give it a go. Sorry about that guys, I have a major, major fear of wasps and there was a huge, huge wasp in the office and I was starting to slightly freak out after I heard the buzzing noise. So yeah, that orange marmalade, let's give it a go. Damn, it tastes a lot better in a dripper than a tank. Straight away, fresh, and I mean fresh orange. With that same, it's, it's good to see if that, if it's got the, the butter, the butter toast element, everything is the same, like it's got the same sort of base, just a different flavor. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, the, the flavours are there, everything. The, the orange marmalade, like, really fresh, sort of orange sort of tasting. And then straight away, the butter, again, with that little hint of toast on the end. It's a great, great vape. Like, the, these are easily all-day vapes, and now that I'm actually reviewing them, I'm actually going to vape them. Like, after leaving them so long, just chilling on the shelves, so... Dense, dense cloud production, really milky sort of clouds. And the flavour just sticks, like it, it sticks on your mouth, on your palate kind of thing. So yeah, that was the orange marmalade on toast by Juice Sauce or the Jam Vape Co. So the last thing I'm going to be vaping is the black currant jam on toast. Really excited to try this because I do like a good a good black currant vape like sloth. It tastes quite a uh, black currenty as well. Using the Cosmonaut RDA, which again is part of what I've been what I've been vaping recently, but I just did a fresh build just for 
these sort of reviews. These are the Dual Fuse Claptons, the 26 gauge core from Crazy Wire. I haven't tried these yet either. So we'll see how uh, these sort of this sort of wire goes as well. Um, straight away, solid black current with that little bit of butter on the end, on the tail end of that. Really, really excited to try this sort of this stuff. 0.26, six wrap again. Takes a bit more of a longer while for ramp up, but hey, well, like as long as it's a good vape, doesn't really bother me. Let's whack this at, mm, let's say 85. And that RX2 slash 3. It smells pretty good. Cool. Let's uh, give this a whirl then, shall we? It's not bad. I was expecting more on the black current sort of end, but the black current is there. Um, personally, it could just be the the wire is quite hot, so it's quite a uh, like a hot sort of vape. But you still get the butter and toast sort of element um, in the in the in the juice, but. It's not as prominent in terms of the fruit side as like the strawberry or the orange, but if you're a black currant sort of lover with like the toast sort of lover as well, definitely one for you. It's a bit bit muted in terms of like the, the, the black currant element, but it's definitely definitely can't get enough of this juice. Clicking over to juicesource.co.uk, 2350. Like this is in terms of with the new TPD regulations and whatnot, that is cheap. Like, it's not really, an, it's like a pretty much a no-brainer in terms of a 100ml bottle for £23.50. I don't know if the Nick shots cost extra. But these are damn good vapes. Like, like I said before, loopholes, easy. Like, to get around in terms of what you're after. Um, so yeah, that was Juice Sauce with the Jam Vape Company. Really excited to try the other stuff. One of the juices of the other range is like halfway down because I literally had to try one of them. Um, let's just say it's lemony and Dinner Lady have got their work cut out in terms of this flavour. Um, but yeah, that was probably the longest vlog I've done. The second episode two of the vlog sort of stuff. I'm actually really enjoying starting doing this sort of vlog things like new products and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a pleasure, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, do do whatever you like. Like I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to boss you around. But hit the subscribe, check out the videos and whatnot. Definitely going to be doing more on a more regular basis. I just need to get more products and whatnot in. Um, got two juice lines to review next time. So make sure you tune in for them because I'm beyond excited for that sort of stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I'll just grab something. What shall I grab? What shall I grab? Everything's all in front of me. Um, Cosmonaut, District 5, Wismec, RX 2 thirds, left. And I'll catch you later.